What's up? Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're still working on the Form 4 tracker uh, for tracking filings with the SEC. Uh, but today, what we're going to do is add Sentry, which is an error monitoring and alerting tool, to our Rails application so that when errors happen in production on Heroku, we can be notified of those and we can kind of like keep track of those tasks that um, are basically what we need to fix. So on, on Heroku, they have a, uh, an add-on called Sentry. Um, so we can just create the add-on here. So we're going to say Heroku add-ons create Sentry. Um, and then we need to install a Ruby gem. So we can say bundle add Sentry Raven, bundle add Sentry Raven. And this should add the Raven gem. And I think by default, we shouldn't actually have to um, add any special error handling. It should pick them up, like pick up the default exceptions by, um, by default. So right now, I don't think I have any errors, <laughs> any known errors. So we've got the, we've got the Sentry gem installed. We've got the add-on um, provisioned. Now, is there any other settings we might need to set up? Um, okay, so here we go. Yeah, I wonder, it seems like maybe there's gonna be some, conf some environment variable that's set for us uh, inside of, uh, inside of Heroku, and then I assume this Raven gem is just gonna pick up that default. So let's just try it out. Um, I'm gonna just add that those gems to the gem file. Uh, say commit adding Sentry, and then I'll push it to Heroku. There is, by the way, a free version of this add-on. Um, so I believe by just saying Sentry, we should get the free version um, by default. Okay, still deploying. Ah, Sentry Raven is deprecated. Please migrate to Sentry Ruby. So I wonder if we need to do that. Sentry Ruby gem. Let's see. So the, the doc that's on Heroku, the article about setting up Sentry with Ruby or Rails 3.x, looks like it's out of date potentially. And so what we might wanna do, oh look, there's even like Sentry Rails. Okay, so I like it seems like maybe this add-on is out of date, even though it says it was last updated uh, about a year ago. So that's all right. So let's let's take a look here. So. Um, getting started, it says install this Sentry Ruby gem instead, and then it depends on the integrations you might want to use. Install Sentry Rails, Sentry Sidekick, delayed job. Um, okay, and then it looks like we need to set your DSN variable. I believe that's going to be set for us. Um, okay, so let's let's change our gem file to use these new gems instead. So we're going to say uh, yeah, let's grab this one and let's grab this one and we're using rescue. It doesn't look like there's rescue specific sentry gems. I think that's all right. Uh, and then we can say bundle install and it only runs when the DSN is set. Okay. So, and I, again, I think that's going to be set. It doesn't report some kinds of errors by default performance monitoring. I don't think we care about too much. Um, and yeah, tracing all this is a little bit more advanced. So I think we should be good to go. Uh, so let's add those. Push it up to Heroku. Okay, now that's up on Heroku, we should be able to fire up the console and cause some error to happen. And then we should see some sort of errors uh, or some sort of error email come in. It looks like I actually already got an email from Sentry. So here we go. We're, we've already got an exception. It says, don't know how to build the task environment. See these rake tasks. So somewhere um, we have a runtime error. We can say view on Sentry. So this was an exception that happened like during the deploy process. And because I'm not logged in, you don't really get a login when you're using these add-ons. Instead, you have to log in through Heroku. So I'm gonna say, go back to my form for tracker directory and say Heroku add-ons open Sentry. And this should bring me into the Sentry UI um, with the like single sign-on link. 
and uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so here is Sentry. We've got a list of issues. Um, so there's a runtime error. This happened, uh, I guess it says, I don't know, how, doesn't know how to build the task environment. Okay, so this is a runtime error that's been happening that um, we didn't actually, I didn't even realize was happening. So this is great. Um, so there is an exception that says, um, doesn't know how to build the task environment. Uh, and that's part of SEC notify recent filing. So if we go into that task, so we can open up, um, or this is actually already working, but I wanted to show um, that from the Rails console, right? If we were to say like one divided by zero, um, I think we should get a an exception here somewhere, if I'm not mistaken, because we fired this um, and did not catch the zero division error. I might be I might be wrong. Let's see. So what if we say raise or like th yeah raise hell. Let's see. So runtime error. Are we actually catching that here, or is IRB? I think IRB might be just swallowing that. Um, okay. Well, we've got this. We've got this runtime error. We know this is an issue. If we were to try to run this task again, so if we say Heroku run uh, rake SEC notify recent filings, then I think we should see that this issue has now occurred twice. So the number of events here right now shows one. Um, but as this task attempts to run, okay, so there, boom, we, we did get a big exception. Don't know how to build task environment. So that's the exception that we were, that has been firing or that's been happening. It's, so it's kind of tricky to test this out. Um, but either, either way, let's see if we can fix this error. So um, you can look at the, um, there's generally like a full stack trace here that you can see. Um, and we can dig into where this is actually happening. Um, and if we start, let's see. So we've got our task manager, application RB. Where is the actual rake task? Task. Um, okay, so let's just go take a look at that task. And notify recent filings. Did I spell environment wrong? I did. Okay, so this, this word is spelt incorrectly. So this task has never worked. Um, so we'll say environ, environment. Okay, so that should fix that error. Git and fix um, notify filings task. Okay, so that should republish. And then what you can do is from, from the dashboard here, every time that you resolve an error, you wanna check it, uh, check resolved and mark it off as resolved so that um, if the error occurs again, then you see it again. So if you think that you fixed the bug, you wanna mark it as resolved. And then if the error fires again, then it will pop up in the same UI here. Um, okay. So what other alerts? Yeah, so there's projects. This is the one project they're working on is this form four tracker. We've had one error so far. And in terms of, uh, yeah, I think some of these are paid features likely, but because we're on the free plan, we get one user. And um, I think it's like 30 days of, of, of storage, okay. Let's see, so this thing is still redeploying. All right, so again, Sentry is an error monitoring tool to uh, track and alert you if there's any issues. This is really helpful if you are deploying something to production and you wanna be notified when uh, issues and errors occur that you don't expect. That way you can get in there and be proactive about fixing those bugs before your customers have to report them to you. Um, so all that we had to do was run this quick uh, provision step for adding the add-on to our account where we ran Heroku add-ons create Sentry. Then we added two gems to our gem file, Sentry Ruby and Sentry Rails. And that was all that we needed to do. We deployed to production and we already started getting email notifications of exceptions and we were able to 
um, go through and mark those as resolved or unresolved. And that's kind of it. There's probably more details that you can get into if you wanted to like report your own exceptions or um, some more of the advanced features around performance, but that should get you started and uh, allow you to set up some sort of error monitoring and alerting with Sentry. I've also used Rollbar in the past. Um, there's also the, all kinds of different alternatives. I think Honey Badger and Airbrake are also alternatives. Um, just having something up and running is always a good idea for uh, anything that you're actually deploying onto production and making real. Uh, hopefully this was useful. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.